we make furniture production and construction more eco-friendly? The creators of Lignolock nails have a solution. These nails are crafted from wood instead of metal, making it simpler to prepare an old bedside table for recycling. The company claims that these wooden nails, measuring 3.7mm in diameter and 50-65mm in length, are just as sturdy as aluminium nails. The only difference is that you'll need a pneumatic nail gun to drive them in instead of a regular hammer. During this process, the nails essentially merge with the wood. This means the nail and, for instance, a drawer's wall become one. A set of 1,020 Legnalock nails in coils is priced at $135. This is how they handle wood in Sweden. This unique wooden structure is known as Wisdom Stockholm. It was built as an extension to the Swedish National Museum of Science and Technology and covers an area of about 1,300 square meters. Inside the wooden dome, visitors can experience a 360-degree 3D projection system. The impressive span reaches up to 48 meters, and remarkably, no supporting columns were used. This feat was accomplished using roughly 20 kilometers of LVL beams. Brickerwood wanted to surprise builders with their wooden bricks. These bricks allow you to assemble a house like a Lego set without the need for nails, screws, glue, or a bunch of tools, making it possible to build a small house in just a couple of days. These wooden bricks come in three sizes and are crafted from Douglas fir wood. In tests, buildings built with these bricks endured extreme conditions, including temperatures as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius and an 8.5 magnitude earthquake. Furthermore, houses built with these bricks don't require cladding or vapor barriers, and bricker wood promises solid energy efficiency. Speaking of wood-related innovations, we can't overlook papercrete. It's essentially wood compressed and bonded with cement and various additives. That's why papercrete blocks are easy to saw and cut. On the screen, you can see the Isotex blocks, which stand out for their excellent sound insulation. An Isotex block used as a partition wall can reduce noise by approximately 46 decibels. The company also emphasizes the block's strong adhesion, making it possible to, for example, apply plaster. Standard Isotex blocks come in dimensions of 50 by 10 by 25 centimeters and are excellent for dividing rooms in an apartment. Speaking of LEGO, let's turn our attention to a team from Denmark, the homeland of LEGO. They've introduced the iLock, acoustic panels that can be easily put together. The process is described simply as click, push, next. These panels are secured using Veilinger Innovation's 5G technology, similar to that commonly found in various floor coverings, wall panels, and even furniture. You can easily tell when the panel's properly in place by the distinctive click. Plus, these panels are so versatile and safe that they're suitable even for use in schools. Norwegian builders joined the Wooden Architecture Party by building the world's tallest wooden building in Bramundal. It's called Mjørstornet, 
and it stands at an impressive height of 85.4 meters, surpassing even the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. The building boasts 18 floors and a basement, covering a total area of about 11,300 square meters. This ample space accommodates restaurants, offices, and apartments. The construction process took a year and a half and followed an interesting approach. Workers initially assembled four-story blocks, which were then stacked using a crane. In nature, every tree is unique, and this makes every log house unique too, according to Natural Log House. Their experts are ready to build a personalized home and are sure that it will be crafted from 98% biodegradable natural materials. Just like in those coffee ads where experts meticulously choose the right beans, the Natural Log House team is equally meticulous in selecting the wood. Specifically, they opt for trees growing between 800 and 1200 meters above sea level, and the timber is harvested during the winter with consideration for moon phases. Popular choices include silver fir and spruce. It's estimated that a 150 square meter house can be finished in approximately six months. Toya Grid offers a construction system designed for pergola and shed enthusiasts, among other similar projects. Before you skip ahead in the video, consider this. The manufacturers have something quite interesting to offer. Toya Grid relies on versatile modular assemblies, meaning you can easily expand or enhance your pergola, like adding a swing using just a ladder and a simple screwdriver. The only thing you'll need to provide is the wood, as it's not included in the kit, but is the good part. You won't have to worry about preparing a foundation, as Toya grid structures adapt well to compacted soils. The fasteners are made from 2mm thick steel, and a basic set of four is priced at $176. If you're interested in working with wood but not quite ready to tackle a skyscraper, consider starting with a deck or patio. For surfaces like old concrete, these deck tiles, made from wood fibers with a protective polymer coating, are an excellent choice. They offer a blend of lightness, durability, and resistance to fading. Besides, they're incredibly easy to install thanks to the interlocking system. Standard tiles come in various sizes. 30.5 squared, 30.5 by 61, and 30.5 by 91.4 centimeters. Plus, customers can choose from a range of colors, including options like blue and pink. Today, robots play a significant role in creating different wooden structures. Take, for instance, the KUKA KR240 robot, which contributed to the construction of this pavilion. It handled tasks like cutting, installing, and connecting the slats for the columns. The project also enlisted Erna AG Holtzbau, which introduced Europe's largest robotic timber construction system in 2015. This project serves as a prime example of how much easier and more efficient work becomes with the assistance of robots. The pavilion in the video is exceptional, comprising 456 parts, and it was finished in just three days.
Styco has introduced a wooden innovation, a soft wood floor insulation that works effectively on both wood and concrete floors. Beyond its primary purpose, it also diminishes noise by approximately 25 decibels. If needed, this insulation can be used in interior partitions as well. The material is breathable, resistant to temperature variations, and non-flammable. Skillful board installation can even conceal minor floor imperfections. Moreover, these boards are suitable for installing underfloor heating. Meanwhile, in the United States, they've tested the tallest building ever placed in an earthquake simulator. This wooden architectural marvel stood at 34 meters, equivalent to about 10 stories. Multiple manufacturers contributed materials like CLT and MPP. Engineers also incorporated rocking walls, enabling the building to level itself. For added shock protection, post-tensioned steel rods were installed on all floors. The results of tests showed that, even in the face of a 7.7 magnitude earthquake, the damage was relatively minimal. Furthermore, this type of building is much easier to repair, even after strong earthquakes. Bloomer is a company known for its expertise in building framed buildings, and they rely on the BSB system. This system combines glulam, steel plates, and dowels. It's versatile enough to facilitate connections between steel and concrete structures, making it suitable for building anything from gyms to bridges. Wood construction specialists will find this protective membrane highly useful. It's transparent, eliminating the need for a second marking. The membrane is airtight and waterproof, but allows vapor to pass through. It also resists abrasion and foot traffic. With its self-adhesive surface, you can protect your workspace in no time. Plus, if you place the membrane incorrectly, it's easy to reposition. The membrane is composed of multiple layers. They are, from top to bottom, EVA, non-woven PP fabric, an adhesive layer with acrylic dispersion, and a separating layer of plastic film. In conclusion, let's acknowledge the inventiveness and resourcefulness of multiple construction and engineering firms. We'll begin with a visit to the British Arboretum of Westonbirt, home to around 15,000 trees. You can admire them along a 300-metre path elevated by tall wooden supports, reaching a height of 13 metres. The clever design ensures that even individuals in wheelchairs can comfortably enjoy the walk. Similar supports were used in the following project to provide stability for a 60-square-meter house on a hillside in Brazil. <laughs> 